So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to download the s S3's land use land cover data of 10 meter resolution using Google Earth Engine. So now let me explain about this s S3's land cover data of 10 meter resolution. So, so s S3's uh, 10 meter land use land cover data errors of a high resolution open and accurate and comparable and time timely land use maps are critical for the decision makers in many industry sectors and a developing nation. So these map provides and improves an understanding of the important topics such as food security, land use planning and surface water and resource management planning. In addition, the government, uh, national government resource agency uses the land cover as a basis for understanding the trend of the country's natural capital which helps define the uh, land planning priorities and the basis for a budget allocation. And this particular land use land cover map is prepared using the AI, so existing artificial intelligence, a land uh, classification model where enhanced by bringing together a massive training data set of billions of human labeled image pixels. So it also provides uh, nine different classes including uh, vegetation, base surface, water crop, land, uh, water, cropland and build up. So build areas. So here you can uh, clearly able to view the classification of land use land cover classification of s -trees. So we have around 9 different classes starting from water, crop, snow, trees and build areas, clouds, flooded vegetation, bare ground and range clan, uh, rangeland. And it is available from 2017 to 2022. So in this video I will show you how to download the s -trees land use land cover data using Google Earth Engine. So how to download s land use land cover map using Google Earth Engine. So to download s land use land cover map, uh, first we need to import our s land use land cover data into Earth Engine. So to import our s land cover data, we have to define a variable called s lulc 2020 equals to double dot image collection. So this specific code will insert our s land use land cover data into Earth Engine. So next we have to add our country's boundary layer in order to visualize our uh, the land cover data for the specific uh, study region. So you can choose a variety of study region. So in this video, I will choose Bangladesh as my study region. So for that, I defined a variable called countries equals to double E dot feature collection USDOS LSBI simple 2017. So this specific uh, code will insert our country's world country's boundary uh, layer into Earth Engine. So next we have defined a variable called ROI. So ROI here represents our region of interest that is our study region we are defined as Bangladesh. So for that countries dot filter double e dot filter eq countries name so it refers to name and output the layer name as Bangladesh. So next to add this layer into earth engine we have to define map dot add layer ROI so ROI here represents region of interest so it refers to this variable and we refer to this curly bracket refers to the default visualization parameter so we are uh, leaving the visualization parameter as the default and output the layer name as Bangladesh. So next we are define a, a dictionary which will be used to make a legendary which used to make our legend and visualize an image on map. So for that we defined a variable called dictionary. So dictionary here represented at here this specific uh, dictionary uh, dictionary. So here we have defined a variable called dictionary here represents our names. So we have around nine different classes for our S3 land use land cover uh, data. So we have nine different classes. So for that we defined water trees, grass, flooded vegetation, up to clouds. Similarly, to represent so each of these classes will have a specific color. So in order to represent this color, we are defined here as a color. And each of this uh, course represents each of the color for this classes, nine different for this nine classes. So each of this uh, nine codes refers to the color for this nine classes. So next we have to create a panel to hold a legend. So in order to create a map uh, to create uh, that is to hold our legend we have to define a variable called uh, legend equals to UI panel and style we are referring the position the legend will be represented in the bottom, uh, bottom left so here it will be represented in this side and, uh, and, next, and next we have to de define a function that is to generate a legend so to create uh, to generate a legend we have to define a function that is called a uh, function add category categorical legend panel uh, dic there is refers to dictionary uh, that is refers to this variable so this specific variable and uh, title so basically what is this function does is so entire function 
so basically this entire function what it does it is uh, here up to so up to here basically what it does is it creates an, uh, a good looking a legend for uh, it creates a good looking legend for our uh, land use land cover map so it will be uh, represented in the legend will be represented in the bottom uh, left side so the so the position is also represented here so in the position will be represented at the bottom left side of our uh, here it will be represented in this part so this entire function so this entire function will be used to generate a good looking legend for our land use land cover uh, map so next we are to display a uh, display of map and legend so in this section we have to display our map and legend so to add a legend to our map we have to define add categorical legend legend uh, here the dictionary here represents our different nine different classes of our land use land cover and the color so it is refer referring to that of our dictionary variable let me show you that so here it refers to this variable so this variable containing the nine different classes with uh, nine class the color for this nine classes so next we are going to uh, clip our uh, clip our land use land cover data with a specific study region so that is here represented as roi so that is the region of interest now let me show you uh, show you our study region so study region here represented as bangladesh so refers to this variable roi that is region of interest our study region will be bangladesh so let me get down so here for that i defined a variable called sg's land use land cover dot clip so we're going to clip with a specific study region that is Bangladesh. So equals to S3's LULC uh, 2020. So this specific variable represented here that is our S3's uh, land use land cover data. So we are using dot mosaic function dot clip ROI. So it uh, it will uh, clip our region of interest. So in order to view only our land use land cover data of our specific study region that is Bangladesh. So next we have defined uh, add a global image to our map. So suppose if you want to view the global land use land cover of S3s, all you have to do is you have to mention map.add layer S3s LULC 2020 dot mosaic function. We are setting with the minimum value of 1 and to the maximum value of 10. And the color palette. So for the color palettes, we have represented our dictionary. So this is our dictionary variable. We have already used. So in order to define a color for our nine classes of our LULC uh, LULC data so it represents the color it gives a color for our nine classes of LULC so it is a dictionary variable let me show you that so here it represents uh, it represents this variable refers to this variable dictionary so nine different classes and color for that nine classes so for that we defined with a minimum value of 1 and maximum value of 10 and uh, color palette refers to that color and output the layer name as global s S3's LULC 10 meter resolution. So this is our uh, visualization parameter and uh, output the layer name as global s S3's LULC 10 meter resolution. And suppose if you want to view the LULC of s S3's LULC for specific study region. So thus that is we have chosen as Bangladesh as our specific study region. So for that to add the uh, to add this layer we have defined map dot add layer s S3's LULC uh, clip. So this specific uh, ref refers to this variable that is LULC S3 uh, LULC clip refers to this region of interest that is a Bangladesh. So we set a minimum value of 1 and to a maximum value of 10. And color palettes. So here this is our default. Uh, this is our uh, visualization parameter with a minimum of 1 to a maximum of 10. And color palettes refers to our dictionaries. So that is our 9 classes width and colors. And output the layer name as Bangladesh S3's LULC 10 meter resolution. So in order to center this layer, we define map dot center object ROI. So ROI here represents our region of interest, that is our study region called Bangladesh, with a specific zoom level of six. So last, uh, we had to download our LULC of S3's LULC. So to download our S3's LULC data, all you do, all you have to do is to export dot image dot to drive so we're going to export this uh, data to our drive so to do that we have to define export dot image dot to drive so image we are referring to s3's lulc lulc clip so this refers to this specific variable so this specific variable we are exporting only this specific uh, image that is our study region roi 
So for that we define image SRI's LULC clip. Description is SRI's LULC Bangladesh. And scale is that is spatial resolution is around 10 meters. So that is a so the resolution is around uh, 10 meters and region. So here refers to our ROI that is our region of interest. Let me show you that. So here the ROI here represents our uh, our study region Bangladesh. So next we have set our maximum pixel values around 1 is to 10 power 13. So next let us run this code. Go to the option called uh, run script and uh, click run script. So now let us visualize our S3's LULC land cover data. So we have uh, three different layers. One is refers to Bangladesh S3's LULC 10 meter. And second one is our global S3's LULC 10 meter. And third one it is our Bangladesh uh, country boundary layer. Let me show you that. So this is our uh, S3's LULC of Bangladesh. And uh, this is our country's boundary layer. So now let us visualize our global. S3 is LULC. So here in the bottom left corner, we have our legend representing our nine different classes. So starting from water, trees, grass, uh, flooded vegetation, crop, and scrub, build areas, bare ground, snow, and clouds. So let us visualize. So this is our global visualization of our land use land cover of S3's 10 meter resolution. So now let us visualize a uh, different part of our globe. So here you can clearly able to view the different part of our globe. So the, the LULC data is available for our India. It is available for India. So it is available for Africa. So it is available for Africa and uh, North and South America, Australia. So it is available for entire globe. So now let us visualize our land use land cover of our specific study region called Bangladesh. Go to this layers. Let me turn off the global. Let me turn this on. Let us visualize our uh, land use land cover of Bangladesh. So here we have different classes of uh, land use land cover for this specific study region Bangladesh. So here you can clearly able to view the red indicates our build areas. That is our uh, build ups. So build areas. So here. The central part of this specific study region has a very very high concentration of build up areas and also we have uh, the blue indicates the water bodies so here we have our rivers and uh, here there are several water bodies have been represented and uh, so the yellow here represents the crops so we have a variety of different crops has been um, indicated in this specific color and the green indicates our uh, trees so vegetation is very higher towards the towards southeast so we can uh, clearly able to view in this part of the section there is a towards uh, southeast we have uh, that is towards uh, southeast we have very high uh, vegetation that is of our trees very high concentration of trees being absorbed so each of the color represents the diff nine different classes of this specific study region so let me show you the how to uh, da export this uh, image to your google drive so go to the option called task so now there is an unsubmitted task called uh, S3's LULC Bangladesh. Click run. So now when a window has been popped up, so there is an, a, a task popped up uh, saying the S3's LULC Bangladesh. Make sure that you don't give any spaces in between them. So it refers to a coordinate reference system and uh, with the spatial resolution of 10 and uh, export it to our drive. File name is S3's LULC. File format is GeoTIFF. So to export this to your drive, that is to export this LULC of S3s to your drive, all you have to do is click run. So you can also export your Google storage or to your Earth Engine assets. So it will take some time to download to export to your Google Drive. So you can also export to your Earth Engine assets. So in this video, I've shown you how to download S3s LULC 2020 using Google Earth Engine. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like and the link will be given in the description the, and also the quotes will be given in the description. Thanks for watching and give us a like and subscribe.